Let's talk about Brandon Cooks. Last season, he had eight touchdowns right at 630 yards, give or take. And he had a slow start last season. Him and Dak Prescott, we can all argue and say, hey, them boys were not on the same page in many of games. And he could have been a double digit touchdown guy last season. But that's just how it goes. Uh, they were not on the same page in a few games. And down the stretch, they connected a little bit more. And then in the postseason, of course, the, the play against the Green Bay Packers, we looked at his route running there and it just wasn't there for those short areas and short routes. Brandon Cooks, in my opinion, he is more of a slot guy that can play on the outside. Since the Cowboys already got a slot guy that can play on the outside by the name of C.D. Lamb, it was hard to get both of those guys in the mix. Nevertheless, in this season, going into his second season with Dak Prescott, we're hearing positive news about these boys stepping up and being even more on the same page. And they should correct some of those flaws and issues that they had with the shorter routes. Hopefully, this will be a situation where we can see the true, true added value of a veteran guy like Brandon Cooks who can take the top off the defense, who can get separations, and he got short area quickness, and especially within the confines of being added to this team for the second year, these things should be better. So, we're looking at this offense. We can't wait to see these boys shine. And speaking of that, this other guy, Cavante Turpin, we need for him to get more and more reps, more and more opportunities. And when you have a guy with the skill set that can take the top off the defense, that you can line up inside or on the outside as well and do those end arounds, I think that from what I'm hearing, number nine, Cavante Turpin will be added into the mix more. And he's looking to get back to being an all pro as well as a pro bowl type of guy especially since they changed and switched up the kickoff return rules you should see more of number nine and he will be even more comfortable within the confines of the system speaking of that deuce vaughn news is circulating that he is now working on the outside as a wide receiver as well as he will be kicked back inside as a running back of course let's continue to figure out ways to utilize this man all over the field he do have short area quickness. He don't have long speed, but he have the ability to create space, get skinny, stay small and get upfield. And he can be another guy, whether it's on pump returns or kickoff returns that can give you extra added weapon in that particular department. Hopefully we can see more from him. And we talking about Deuce Vaughn in the backfield utilizing him all over the field will create opportunities and especially when you think of it you add these worlds together like all of these wide receivers deuce vaughn Cavante turpin brandon cooks and let's say this out loud right now jalen tober everybody is looking for him to turn the corner and be that guy that can give us some type of relief as it relates to this wide receiver room, we know that the attention will be on C.D. Lamb whenever the Cowboys decide to pay him. We know that the attention will be on Brandon Cooks. If this guy can win his one-on-ones and force teams to say, hey, who's number one on the outside? Oh, that runs a 4 4 40. They can high point the ball. They can create space by himself as well. We need to see Cavante Turpin Jalen Tolbert and some of our other ancillary pieces like a Deuce Vaughn to stand tall in this mix. And it could all happen during this offseason as these boys continue to elevate their game and their mindset. It starts now picking up the system, doing the installments and understanding that the more you edit, the better you will be at it. And everybody got their chips on the table for Jalen Tober. But let's not sleep on Jalen Brooks as well as Ryan Flo as well. So this wide receiver room, it will be a great level of competition for the 2024 season. No one will be just given the opportunity without working for it. And I like knowing that. Now, granted, I'm going to say this again with Brandon Cooks. He had eight touchdowns last season, right at 630-something yards. 
I think that he can be a thousand yard wide receiver. And when you look at everything, I think that also he can be a double digit touchdown guy. We will all wait and see whether or not they will be on the same page for the 2024 season. If I'm a betting man, salute to prize picks too, by the way, download prize pick and use promo code LAW. If you are trying to go more or less, I will say to you, go with more because this dude, he's going into his second season with Mike McCarthy, as well as both of those quarterbacks. From Dak Prescott, even down to my guy, Cooper Rush. They are going to be more fluid with this particular approach on the offense. And we should see an uptick on everybody's situation as it relates to the wide receiver room. Because this should be already installed into their minds. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Point, 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 point.